You're watching Wintering Weather, a Your Weather Authority special, presented by Windy Hill Furniture. We talk a lot about wind chill during the winter season, but what does that actually mean? Wind chill is based off of two things, temperature and wind. Wind affects the heat loss from exposed skin for both people and animals. Still air is a great insulator from temperature changes. When the wind is calm, there's a layer of still air and heat around your body that keeps you warmer. Under those conditions, the wind chill equals the actual temperature of the air. Windy conditions break up the bubble of warmth around you and moving air transports heat at a much faster rate. That combined with the evaporation of moisture from your skin speeds up the heat loss process and makes you feel colder. The lower the wind chill, the more dangerous it is to you to develop hyperthermia or frostbite. Frostbite is a condition where the tissue in your skin will freeze and cause permanent damage. However, the wind chill doesn't actually change the temperature of the air. Therefore, nothing, including your skin, will actually freeze with just the wind chill below zero without the temperature actually being below zero too. But that wind can really damage your skin, can't it, Christy? That's right, Joe. The wind, the cold, and also the dry weather in the winter, but there's ways to protect it. We all know to moisturize our skin during the winter months, but there are other ways we can help keep our skin from drying out. Dr. Eva Parker is a board-certified dermatologist. She says it's important to avoid scrubbing your skin. Our skin is like a coat of armor for us, and we have a dead layer that is meant to be there. It naturally exfoliates, and when we go to mechanically remove it daily with scrubbers, we actually end up dehydrating our skin and creating a situation where irritants and pathogens and bacteria can get in and air pollution, and then we leak moisture and it really damages our barriers. Dr. Parker's other top tips for our skin, take warm showers and keep them less than 10 minutes. You'll also want to use a mild soap and moisturize. But what about chapped lips? If you've guessed chapstick, you'll want to think again. Products like that can actually dehydrate your lips over time. Now that is a really common problem and then we make it worse because our lips are chapped Then we keep licking them, which makes them even more chapped. And so I would recommend a greasy emollient based lip balm. And honestly, Vaseline works great. It's easy to find and inexpensive, but there are other greasy ones that you can use as well. One last thing, Dr. Parker suggested using a broad spectrum SPF 30 sunscreen on your face and neck. While winter doesn't seem like the time to lather up, just like an overcast day at the beach, bad UV rays can still break through the clouds, damage your skin and cause wrinkles. Coming up, it's what you've all been waiting for, Joe's Wintercast.